Okay, guys, just a quick or short update. I uh, just want to show you how I'm tackling these side decals. So you can see here, I got the decal cut apart. Uh, I've just got the top side on. So I just laid that on there. And I'm just waiting for the solver set and stuff to do its thing. And I'm hoping that Pontiac wraps around and snuggles around that uh, pillar. And then hopefully when the second part goes on, uh, it meets up nicely with that edge there. But um, yeah, this is, uh, I don't know why they did the decals the way they did. Uh, it would have been much better if they had just given us the black, you know, John Deere, the number, blah, blah, blah. And just, just go ahead and paint all the screen on and then put the decals over it. It would have been much, much simpler. Uh, than the way that they have it in my opinion anyways um, So anyways, yeah, so that's that's what I'll be doing with that So once this part is all settled in and dried in uh, I'll put on this piece and Then we'll see We'll see then how it goes. So I essentially cut the decal into three parts the decal consists of um, the red stripe and all of just below the red stripe, all of the green, of course, and the John Deere. So I basically cut it along that top line there, underneath the black pillar, straight across. And I cut this part of it here out. So, or I will, I should say I will cut this bottom part out. I haven't done it yet, but I'm planning to cut that out as well. So, anyways, we'll see how it goes. And, uh... Yeah, I'll be back when I get the next part on. And as far as the hood, I've gotten most of the wrinkles out. Um, I just put a few more cuts into those wrinkles. And I... This will be the third application of this Walters. And believe me, if this doesn't set the decal down, nothing will. Uh, the only thing, if you've never used it before, you really need to be careful because uh yeah it will melt the decal and settle it down but it will also destroy the decal if uh if you're not careful so yeah just uh just keep that in mind so anyways guys uh, when i get the second piece on i'll be back to show you how it turned out okay guys so Decal actually laid down pretty good. A uh, little tiny bit of wrinkling there. But uh, probably another bit of Walters on that. May uh, settle that down. But uh, the B pillar here, the decal settled down really nice. Wrapped itself pretty nicely around it. Uh, probably could have been a bit better, but I think it looks pretty good. So, uh, I'll just go ahead now and get ready to put this decal on. I don't think I'm going to cut these um, sponsor decals out of there. I don't think there's really any need. So, I'll uh, be right back. Okay, guys, so I've got the second part of the decal on. <clears throat> uh, it's matching up pretty good. A little bit of a mismatch there. And the other thing, um, you can see it here a little bit in the camera, I think. Uh, these decals are a bit transparent. So you can see, <clears throat> see going down through the seven, you can see the transition between the yellow paint and the green paint. Um, I had hoped because of the thickness of these decals that they weren't going to be transparent, but they are. They are a little bit transparent, so, but yeah, I can live with that. So yeah, it went down okay. It's a bit of a fuss in trying to move it around. Uh, but again, because these details, decals are fairly thick, uh, that can be a good thing and a bad thing. And the good thing being, you can push them around pretty good without uh, worrying about ripping them. So I put the... Um, Solve a set on there now, 
and uh, or the micro saw, I should say. Uh, I'll see. I'll come back in about an hour and see how that does. There, you can see, there's a couple of wrinkles. Uh, just see how the micro saw does with it, um, and I may just give it a coat of uh, Walters before I uh, before I uh, call it a night. So, anyways, yeah. So uh, that's room with the decals, and uh, once these are settled down and finalized, I'll uh, come back and just uh, let you see how it looks in the end. So I'll uh, be right back. Okay, guys. So it's the uh, next day, um, and you can see the decals laid down very nice. Uh, I actually don't really see parting line. You can see a little bit there. A little bit of a mismatch, but uh, I'll put a bit of Walters on that and maybe that'll get it to lay down. But yeah, the decals laid down pretty good. Uh, the solvent really did its, really did its thing. I do need to cut this part here out. I think that's supposed to be the jack point. Or the exhaust connection, I'm not 100% sure. One of them is the exhaust, one is the jack point. Uh, so yeah, so uh, pretty happy with how that decal turned out. It's a couple of small bubbles, but uh, I can live with that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to put this video up, uh, sort of an update I guess, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys, uh, anybody who is building a, one of these race cars that has these large side decals, um, these are on more than a John Deere car. There are other ones out there like this as well. But uh, just to show you that, yeah, it's best to, uh, or in my opinion anyways, it's uh, best to actually cut those large decals. Uh, I would have had a hell of a time trying to uh, position this uh, decal if I did it all in one piece trying to get it uh, fit it down into all the uh, nooks and crannies and stuff there so uh, for me anyways it was better to cut the decal which is what I did I only ended up cutting it in two places into two pieces I should say um, you can cut it in as many pieces as you want a uh, nice thing about water slide decals is as long as you have a good straight cut line uh, once you fit the decal back together you can't see where it was cut so even on a flat area even here if I had let's say cut it down here in a straight line you could fit that back together and you wouldn't even see where it was cut as long as you got everything lined up uh, properly so um, yeah, unfortunately, like I said, these decals are a little transparent. You can see where the green and the yellow transition is. Especially there on the number 7, the yellow of the number 7. You can really see it. Uh, but again, I can uh, I can live with that. Okay, guys, so uh, yeah, I'll continue on with these decals. Um, I'll, probably, I'll probably leave the completed decal body... Uh, essentially for the final reveal of the build so this will probably be the last time you'll see this body now until uh, until the whole model is finished uh, while I was doing those decals I really didn't go ahead with uh, anything else there so uh, do a little bit of priming and painting tonight and uh, by Monday I'd like to have at least have that engine finished and be started on the painting of the of the uh, chassis and roll cage. I'm going to the instructions call for the entire thing to be gray, the uh, chassis pan and the roll cage. I think I'm probably going to divert away from that uh, again, just to give it a bit of color. I really don't care if it's 
you know, 100% like the real car. I really don't care for that. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm hoping to. Uh, so hopefully on the next update, I'll probably have some chassis to show and maybe completed engine, hopefully. Okay, guys, um, as always, thanks for watching and uh, hope you stay tuned.